Hello, Life Masters. It's your Life Master Chavez coming here with a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, do you have the courage to follow and chase your dreams? Okay, so let me uh, bring some folks in here. We're going to talk about dreams. We're going to talk about the courage it takes. I'm going to be asking you, do you have inside of you, do you have the courage that it takes to, to follow your dreams? And I'll explain to you why in a couple seconds that I'm asking this question. Hello, Antoinette. How are you? I'm going to give you a wave. Got some new features here on Facebook I'm super excited about. So if you could do me a favor as you come in, Antoinette, if in the bottom, hey, Susan, how are you? How you guys doing? Let me know that you're here by saying hello below. I see Monica. I see Susan. I see Antoinette. So today's question is, do you have the courage to follow your dreams? And I'm going to explain why I'm asking this question and ask it in a little bit more detail once a few more of you beautiful people come in to this broadcast. So let me know if you can hear me and let me know if you can see me okay before I get into this because I don't want to as much as I like myself, I don't want to talk to myself. So how's everybody doing today? Are you guys having, wait, is today Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's, yeah cause t yesterday was Taco Tuesday. That's right. So happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. I hope you guys are all phenomenal. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Alicia, how you doing? It's good to see you. So here we go with the question of the day. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, Susan. I'm sorry to hear that. We'll pray for your son. That's, that's really all that we can do at this point, right? So this question about following your dreams, um, the reason I'm asking uh, the question is because it, it, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of faith to truly follow your dreams. And yesterday, I asked a question. Hey, Janita. I asked the question yesterday if money and time weren't an issue, what, how would your life be different? And the reason that I asked that question, it's going to kind of correlate with today's question. Because here's the thing, if money and time weren't an issue, if you're able to come up with these amazing goals and these dreams of what you would like to do to contribute to society and to give back and to help other people, I mean, that was pretty much the answers that I got yesterday. But here's the thing, it takes so much courage. And where was I? I was on a call this morning with my mentor, and this is what we were talking about, about when, when you're little, when you're kids, you, you dream, right? You dream about what it is that you want to be when you grow up. And you believe it in your heart. You believe it in your mind. You believe it with every being of who you are that those dreams and those things that you want to be when you grow up are achievable, right? So where does the disconnect happen? It's life, basically. Over a period of time, you get knocked down so many times that you, you start to, to realize that it takes a lot of courage to keep getting up after being knocked down over and over and over. And it, it reminds me of the story of... The, the grasshopper in the box, okay? So they put this grasshopper in a box, and as soon as they put the grasshopper in the box, what's the first thing the grasshopper does? He tries to jump out of the box, but there's a lid on the box. They put a lid on the top. So every time the grasshopper jumps, he hits his head at the top of the lid. And then he jumps again, and he hits his head at the top of the lid. And he does it again. And then all of a sudden, the grasshopper realizes, like, man, this is, this is not working out, you know? Um, so what they do is they take the lid off of the box. So what does the grasshopper do? The grasshopper is so programmed because of the pain of not wanting to hit his head anymore that even if the lid is not on the box, the grasshopper stops trying to jump out because of the pain he associated every time I try to jump out of this box, I hit my head and I got a headache and I don't like it. The reason I'm telling you that story is because 
I am the grasshopper that has finally realized that the lid to my box has been removed. And now I have the courage to jump out of that box and go chase after all of my dreams. So that's my question. Do you have that kind of courage? Do you realize that the lid on the box doesn't exist in your life anymore? Do you realize that you are the only person that is keeping that lid securely fastened on that box? Let me tell you something, how empowering it is when you realize that you already have everything inside of you that you need to have everything that your wildest dreams can imagine. So just remember that story the next time you think that you can't do something. Hey, Terry, how you doing, buddy? Next time you get to a point where you get discouraged. You know, the word discouraged is the opposite of courage. You, you lose the ability to have that courage because you get dissed, just like the grasshopper did over and over and over and over again. But you don't have to be discouraged anymore because you know that the only ceiling and the only way that you're going to be contained is by what you're telling yourself. So that's my question. Do you have the courage to chase after your dreams? Do you have the courage to be told no a million times? Do you have the courage to stand up and have people tell you that you're crazy? Do you know how many people have told me that I'm crazy for doing videos every day? My own family? My own, okay, listen. My wife is not even in this group, okay? There's, there's reasons why, I'll explain that later, okay? But my wife didn't believe in me doing videos. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up with you. She thought it was a waste of time. And I had to fight, literally, like fight, I'm not gonna get into too much detail, for, for me to continue to do these videos. Because this is my dream, this is not her dream. She can't relate to my dream because it's not hers. But what I ended up, what ended up, what's happened along the process is she saw that I've had so much courage and I continued to go regardless of how she feels about my dream. She's finally come to the point where she respects it and now she supports it. So it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to be able to stand up to people in general, but more importantly, we know this to be true. It's the people that are closest to us sometimes that can discourage us from chasing our dreams. And the only reason that they do that, it's not that they don't love us, it's not that they don't care about us, it's quite the opposite because they truly love us and they truly care about us and they don't wanna see us hurt. And they, they don't have the same dream, they don't have the same belief, or maybe they've tried and they've been discouraged and they don't want to see you discouraged either. So that's my question for you today. Do you have the courage to follow your dreams? I hope this video helped you think a little bit. I hope this was an insightful question that will make you think, hey, Darian, how you doing? Yeah, I, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping doing live videos. I, I you know, this is in my, the, I, I have to continue to do these videos because my goals have changed along the way. My dreams have changed along the way because the more I believe in myself, the bigger my dreams get. The more confident you get, the more you believe in yourself, the bigger your dreams will get because you start believing that they're possible. So do you have that kind of courage inside of you? That's my question. Okay, guys. So if there's anybody that's watching live or that comes back to watch the replay, if you guys have any questions about goings on here in the group, if you have any questions about, you know, how to do stuff in here, or you're still nervous or you're still scared to go live, let us know. Just let us know because it's not really a big deal. 
I'm to the point now where I truly feel like I'm just having a conversation with my best friends when I do a video. So this is not uncomfortable for me anymore. This is actually, I look forward to it. And my, the next progression for me is I got to stay on the lookout for things that will keep me uncomfortable, that'll help me expand my mind, that'll help me sweat, right? Thinking outside the box. That's the only way to continue on these dreams that I have. Okay, guys, so I'll talk to you guys later. And I look forward to your answers to this question. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye, everybody.